What's up guys? It's Riantium here, and today, well, it's not a regular video right here, but the rest of the video we'll play later uh, in this video. So if you don't want to see this, skip to this time code right here, but I will advise if you're a longtime watcher of my channel or you're someone new, do please check this out because it has to do with the channel, what's going on with it, and kind of a personal thing in my life. So with that being said, this is kind of the update that I wanted you guys to know. So for those of you, some of you saw the YouTube community page post, they saw the Discord, the Twitter post, anything like that. It said something about an urgent message and an update, uh, you know, for the channel and all sorts of that stuff. Well, I'm delighted to say that, you know, very, very soon, in fact, uh, in fact, at the end of this week, I will be making a very big step in my life. Uh, and it has to do with my significant other, my girlfriend, uh, which a lot of you have already, you know, had the pleasure uh, of meeting through uh, chat, through uh, live streams, anything like that, Discord, Twitter. She's on basically all of my mediums and um, she's been a wonderful you know, addition to myself, my well-being, and my mental health. But we've hit, little, we've hit a little bit of an impasse as far as the distance between us goes with um, our relationship and the long distance that we, you know, are facing. Unfortunately, because she lives in Sweden and I live in America, it's a little difficult and a lot of strain on our hearts. And so I guess what I'm trying to get at by beating around the bush is I'm deciding to take the big jump across the pond to the good old country of Sweden. Uh, and that is going to be a very scary but amazing time for me as well as my girlfriend. Now, I'm sure what a lot of you might be thinking, you know, didn't you just meet this girl? No, <laughs> I promise you that. There's been a lot going on in the background that you haven't been privy to, which is why I feel the way I do and why I feel so confidently about this move. Now, where does the channel stand with this? Because enough of the lovey-dovey stuff, let's get into the, the meat and potatoes. I'm hungry. What, where does the channel go from here? Well, Honestly, this week is going to be the last week I can make videos. Not by my choice, but by, I would say, the grace of the Postal Service. Now, what I mean by that is I intend on continuing YouTube in Sweden with my girlfriend, and the reason being is because I've come so far, I never want to give this up with this. I never want this to change me, and I never want this to come in between me. So here's what my plan is. As of right now, this week... And ending on Friday, it will be the only videos uh, that I will post. And then there's going to be a short hiatus where I won't be able to live stream on YouTube. I won't be able to have any videos, but I'm not planning to disappear completely. I know, I know it, I probably should to maybe, you know, reset the batteries a little bit, recharge the batteries, everything like that. But I'm planning on streaming every now and again. It might not be a schedule, so I apologize about that. But I'm planning on trying to stream with Chloe on Mixer. So for those of you wanting to, you know, stay up to date, be sure to follow the social medias that are down in the description. I can't stress that enough. I'll put up a, a picture, excuse me, right here so you can see just how much stuff you can follow me on. But that's the gist of the update, guys. I know it's a little bit of, uh, I should say it's a lot of information, but those of you that have been following me for a while, you may have seen this coming. I'm not sure if you have. I know a lot of you are pretty damn smart. Um, but this is a, a part of my life that I want to share with you guys. Uh, and I, I want to continue to get better on YouTube and to go further and further and further. That may mean some changes are coming down the, the pathway uh, for my mental health, my regular health, and everything else. So I hope you guys are, you know, okay with that. Um, and at the end of the day, if it doesn't work for me, it's not going to work for you guys either. So, I tried to keep this as short as possible. I know it added like four minutes to the entire video watch time, so bitch about me trying to get more ad revenue in the comments. Please, do it. But, guys, I love you so much, and uh, enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you so much. What's up, guys? It's Ryantium here, and today we are back in Skyrim. Uh, that's right, you guys, and oh snap, is it going to be an awesome freaking day? So guys, out of all the mods you voted on from last week's episode, this is the one that won. But remember, in the beginning of the video, I did say there will be no more videos coming up until I can get my computer back, so there's no voting required. Just sit back, relax, enjoy the videos from here on out, and uh, let's get into this. So, the Ultra Cloak. Now, the Ultra Cloak is a kind of a destruction spell uh, I guess you could say mesh. Well, not a mesh. It's more so like a, a mixture. That's the word I was looking for. They both started with M. You can see where I got, got mixed up. But Ultra Cloak, Combined Elemental Cloak Spell with Reduced Cloak Graphics. Now, this is kind of a two-parter mod, one of which we won't go over in today's mod showcase because it's kind of a no-brainer. It says it in the title, Reduced Cloak Graphics. Basically, what it does is if you look at the picture on Bethesda.net, in fact, I'll put them up right here. If you look at the picture on Bethesda.net, 
it just kind of lessens the bleh in your face with all the uh, the the cloak mod or all the cloak spells. But the ultra cloak, that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. Now, this mod comes with three different locations where you can actually find the two spell tomes in this mod. Now, I say two because unfortunately I haven't been able to find the third one. I I I don't know. But there are two new spell and there are new two new spells that get added into the game that are in three different locations. They are all the same books, but you can go to three different locations. You can either go to, let's see, you can go to Ferengar's Study in Whiterun, Dragon's Reach, on Urag's Desk in the Arcanium at the College of Winterhold, and then the third tome for Ultra Cloak can be found within Fort Dawnguard, whilst a third a third tome for Thundercloak can be found at the Summit of the Throat of the World. Lots of places to find them, plus I wouldn't be surprised if they were added to the level list. But these are the two we're taking a look at. If you can read that on a tiny-ass screen on your iPhone, I call bullshit, because I can't read it on a 65-inch TV screen, and holy Jesus does it add a whole lot of stuff. Luckily, the mod author was gracious enough to give us a little bit of a description down there in the uh, mod description to take a look at it. So, the spell stats base 10 frost damage and stamina DPS, base 10 fire DPS, and on fire overtime damage, 5 whirlwind DPS and chance to be flung away, base 10 shock and half magicka damage DPS, base 10 solar DPS to undead, and luminosity. Also grants a base of 25% ice and fire resistance whilst the cloak is active. Ultra Cloak can be upgraded by choosing the relevant perks in the Destruction School, just like any other Destruction spell. Now, everybody take a deep breath, clear your mind, because the Ultra Cloak is by far one of the most overpowered spells I think I have ever had the great, like, the glory and the, the privilege to take a look at here in Skyrim. Now, for those of you not wanting an OP mod, I apologize, but I didn't make it. But this mod is indeed a master spell, and in fact, it says it costs zero, but that's actually false. It's because I'm wearing this bad boy right here. If we go ahead and take a look at this, I'm not leveled up in destruction at all, and you can see that it costs levels. It costs 648, with another 405 for the Thunder Cloak. Now we'll take a look at both of them, but the Ultra Cloak is really the one that we want to look at. But the Thunder Cloak, we may as well just get it out of the way, right? So we can go ahead and put on my god ring once again, and let's go ahead and teach the people of Whiterun just a little bit of a lesson. So as we can see, we have whirlwind damage, ice damage, you know, there's lightning damage in there it looks like, and it almost looks like we have a little bit of, like, blue flame damage, but if we walk up to somebody, let's see, here's a Whiterun guard. It actually doesn't attack them, which is a lovely and refreshing difference from the stupid ass cloak mods or the stupid ass cloak spells that we have in vanilla Skyrim. But as soon as one of them is attacked, you can really start to see the actual damage that thing is causing. So there's the whirlwind damage that makes them fly away. And as we get closer, they're being electrocuted, they're being frozen. And that is the Frozen uh, Combustion and Electrocution spell at work right there. A beautifully done mod that is just a perfect, perfect addition to this entire thing. Now, since this one is kind of just the basic level, we're actually going to take a look at the Ultra Cloak now. Now, the Ultra Cloak, this one's a little bit more powerful, only just slightly. And it's because, you know what a supernova looks like? Well, you can pretty much be one now inside of, the, inside of Whiterun. Because now you do sun damage, lightning damage, frost damage, fire damage, and wind damage. All with one spell. And if that isn't the most OP freaking thing ever, I don't know what the hell is. Maybe Kamehameha or something like that. But as we can see, I'd rather die than go to prison. And we can go ahead and start using it on these people. And you can really start to see the damage that comes into it. I mean, look at that. He's dabbing. And he just turned into fire and now he's an ice cube. Isn't that insane? Now let's see. Let's keep the... Uh... Let's keep Ultra Cloak there and Flames there. And we'll just continue to wreak some havoc on people here. <laughs> oh my god. So you can really start to see just, I mean, how much damage this is doing. It's freezing. It's electrocuting them. It's, you know, f burning their bodies to corp to crisps. I mean, it's doing everything possible in its power to just decimate everything. Now, let me go ahead and put this into your head. Take this spell and don't apply it to people. Don't apply it to the, you know, the squabbles inside of towns and stuff like that. Instead, take it out to the plains of Whiterun, to the, the dungeons, the, you know, the Nordic dungeons and everything like that. The fact that you could just walk straight through these things makes someone who likes to use mods like this actually, you know, pretty easy. 
Not to mention boss battles. I know there's very few boss battles in Skyrim, but with the, the many bosses that you can find, fighting giants, fighting mammoths, fighting dragons, all of these type, you know, these boss type creatures, this spell could help level the playing field. Honestly, this could help level the playing field fighting dragons tenfold. So this spell can be used against people. I don't know if I would just because it's so damn overpowered, but overall, I think it would be perfect for the big beastie battles for the stuff walking through the plains of Skyrim. You don't want to get attacked by saber tooths, put it on, you're good to go. Not to mention, it gets stronger and stronger and stronger the more points you put into destruction magic. Now, like I said guys, it's not for everybody, but do please let me know down there in the comment section if you'd use it, if you'd bypass it, doesn't matter. All I want to know is what's your opinion on it. So with that being said, I very much hope you enjoyed today's little mod showcase on the Ultra Cloak, and I very much hope you guys can understand and get behind my announcement in the beginning of the video. I once again apologize for the video being a little longer than normal, but wanted to make sure that information got through. So, guys, I love you so much, and I will see you in the next video.